using the picket fence. If you were asked where the distal buckle cusp of the mandibular second molar occludes, um, you could either memorize it from a picture such as this with the dots because each dot has a corresponding dot from the articulating paper from where the teeth occlude. Or if we know the picket fence, we can think in terms of distal buccal cusp of the mandibular second molar, I believe I said, and the central fossa of the maxillary second molar would be where it resides, so to speak. Or a question could say, in an ideal intercuspal position, the distofacial cusp of a maxillary first molar opposes which feature on a mandibular first molar? So we break it down into parts. The distofacial cusp of a maxillary first molar. Okay. Here's our maxillary first molar. The distofacial cusp. So this is where I am. And I'm going to check myself. The distofacial cusp, maxillary first molar. Okay, maxillary first molar, distofacial cusp. Opposes which feature on a mandibular first molar? Um, the distal cusp, the distofacial cusp, the distofacial developmental groove, the mesiofacial developmental groove. Okay, all of these, well, most of these are close to each other, but, um, so, maxillary facial cusps, are they occluding or are they the non-centric cusp? Maxillary facial cusps are non-centric cusps. Maxillary lingual cusps would be centric cusps. So, when I read through my selections, possibilities, the distal cusp, well, we're awfully close to the distal cusp. So, it's a maybe. The distofacial cusp. This is distofacial cusp. No, distofacial cusp is closest to the central fossa. Distofacial developmental groove or the mesiofacial developmental groove. So, mesiofacial developmental groove, distofacial developmental groove. Well, I know that the mesiofacial cusp lies at the mesiofacial groove. So if a cusp opposes this groove, then I'm going to say distofacial cusp opposes the distofacial groove. I'm going to... Another one. In an ideal cusp intercuspal relation, in an ideal intercuspal relation, the lingual cusp of the maxillary second premolar. The lingual cusp of the maxillary second premolar contacts. So, one, two, maxillary second premolar. So I'm right here. Lingual cusp. That means the, that we're looking at a centric cusp. So it will be something on the occlusal portion of the tooth. So our options, the distal fossa of the mandibular second premolar. Mm. Distal fossa of mandibular second premolar is somewhere in here. The mesial marginal ridge of the mandibular first molar. The distal marginal ridge of the mandibular second molar. Well, that 
that's over here. So that's a definite. Nope. There's no way this tooth can occlude here. In ideal intercuspal relation. Distal marginal ridge of the mandibular first premolar. Mandibular first premolar. Distal marginal ridge. No. So we're back to the distal fossa of the mandibular second premolar or the mesial marginal ridge of the mandibular first molar. Um, in a cusp to fossa relationship, the lingual cusp of the maxillary second premolar contacts the distal fossa of the mandibular second premolar. There's one other type of question that we'll work on um, in yet another episode.